Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidwin.com and in this video, we'll show you 4 methods to transfer file from PC to your phone using TWRP recovery. So why is there a need to carry out this task? Well, when you are flashing a custom ROM, it might ask you to perform a format data. When you perform a format data, it will remove all the files from your phone. These include the zip file, IMG file and all the files which are there in the internal storage will be removed from your phone. And as a result of this, you might no longer have any file on your phone to flash. If you go, try to go to reboot the system, then in some cases you might not even be able to access the OS because the OS might also be not there and you might get a no OS is installed message. So whatever you could do, you will have to do from this screen itself. There is no way to boot your phone to the OS or to carry out any other task. So in this video, we will show you four methods by which you could transfer the file from the TWRP recovery screen itself. And once you have done the transfer, you could then easily flash the required file. So let's get started. The first one is using the USB OTG method. So in this, you need to have a USB OTG device in hand. So connect that device onto your phone. And once you have connected the device, go to mount, then check mark USB OTG. And after that, go back, then go to install and select storage, then select USB OTG. It will not show all the files of USB OTG. You just need to select that file and hit install. The file will then be installed. Apart from that, if you don't have a USB OTG device, then here are a couple of other methods. So next up, you could use the MTP method to transfer files as well. For MTP, you have to connect your phone to the PC by USB cable. Once you have made the connection, go to mount and make sure to check mark data partition as you could see in my case. After that, tap on enable MTP and your PC should now be able to identify your device in MTP mode. So as you could see, it's showing as POCO F4 in my case. So we, we could now easily access this device and the storage we could also access. So let me first remove the some of the files from here. And let's now show you the steps to transfer the file. So once your phone is being listed here, you just need to transfer the desired files in the platform tools folder. In my case, I'll show you two files. One is the zip file, magic zip file. And the next one is the recovery file, which is in IMG format. So I'll show you how, how you could transfer both this file. So once you have enabled MTP and check mark the data partition, simply transfer both these files to platform tools folder and then copy this file and then go to the internal storage and paste it here. It would only take a few seconds depending on the file size. And let me show you the transfer is now complete. So this is the IMG file. This is a zip file. So if I now go to the install section, I could now see the zip file which I could install. Likewise, if I tap on install image, the IMG file is also visible. So you could also transfer the file using the MTP mode. Apart from that, the third method is using the ADB push command. So let me show you how you could do that. For that, you need to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. The link for that is given in my guide. You could refer to my guide or check out the video and then download the SDK platform tools. Once you have downloaded them, extract them onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once you have done the extraction, you now have to open CMD window inside platform tools. So type in CMD in the platform tools folder address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt folder inside the platform tools folder. Now type in ADB devices and make sure it's showing as a recovery. So as you could see, our phone is not being shown as recovery. If, if, if in your case, it's not showing as recovery and, uh, and serial ID is not being shown, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Likewise, use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID as well as the recovery keyword. Once you are getting the recovery keyword, you could now use the ADB push command. For that, you first and foremost have to transfer the file to the platform tools folder. In my case, I will be transferring the magic zip file. So let me rename it to something else so that there is no contradiction. So let's just rename it to test. So we will be transferring the test zip file using the ADB push method. So for that, you need to use this command syntax. It's the ADB push file name and SD card. So let me show you once again. So it's the ADB push, then the name of the file, which in our case, it's the test file. And the extension is .zip then a space, then forward slash and SD card. SD card stands for internal storage. So use this command and make sure the file is placed in the platform tools folder and then just hit enter and the file will now be transferred. So let me show you as well. Let me now unlock my phone. And if I now hit enter, the test.zip file has now been pushed. 
the time is usually shorter and it my case is the 50 mbps transfer speed so you the transfer usually takes only a few seconds and as you could see it's now has been transferred so now you could go to install and as you could see it's a best dot zip file is present there on my phone so apart from that there exists a fourth method as well it's known as the adb site load but this is the most risky method out of four this is because if you are in a TWRP recovery, you should always install a file using the install method. You should never use the ADB side load method. The major issue with ADB side load is, is automatically it transfer the file. But apart from that, it also install the file. You have no control whatsoever. It will automatically install the zip file onto your phone as well. So if you don't want to install the file, then don't use ADB side load, but rather use the ADB push or the MTP method. Moreover, the ADB side load command is only applicable across zip file. You will not be able to use across any other file format and as i already told you before it will automatically flash the file on your phone as well so in the case of wrp recovery it's not recommended to flash the file using adb site load rather you should only use the install method and in case of, of a custom recovery that came with a custom rom such as the linear joyce recovery or the cr recovery you could use adb site load because those recovery don't have an install option but in wrp we have an install option and you should always use the install option but if for some reason you are not able to use any of this option and you want to use the ADB site load, then let me show you how this could be done. So first off, make sure to transfer the file in the platform tools folder as well. So as you could see, this is the file. And once that is done, you now have to go to advanced and tap on ADB site load, then perform a right swipe to start the site load. Now again, open CMD window inside platform tools folder and type in ADB devices. Make sure it's showing a side load keyword. If it's showing the side load keyword, then you can flash the file onto your phone. So for that, make sure you have the file in the platform tools folder. For example, if it's the in our case is the test.zip file. So now just use the command adb side load and the name of the file, which in our case is test.zip. Just use this command and hit enter, and the file will now be side loaded onto your phone and it will be flash as well. So, guys, on that note, I round off this video. Just to re-verify, the four methods are as follows. In the first method, you have to use an USB OTG device. So plug in the USB OTG on your phone, then go to mount and check mark USB OTG. Again, then go to install, tap on select storage, choose USB OTG and then flash the file. Next up, we have the MTP method. For that, you have to go to mount, enable the data partition and tap on enable MTP. This will make your phone visible onto your PC. And from here, you could then easily transfer the required file from your PC onto your device and then install it using the install section. After that, we have the ADB push command. Using the ADB push command, you just need to use the ADB push file name space slash and SD card and this will transfer the file to your phone. Once that is done, you could simply go to install and flash the file by tapping on it. Then comes the fourth method of ADB side load. It is the most risky method out of the four because it will automatically install the file onto your phone as well, which is not recommended in case of WRP recovery. But still, if you have no way out, then you could use this method. For that, you have to go to the advanced, then go to ADB side load and perform a right step to start the side load. Once you're in the side load mode, just use the command ADB side load file name dot extension. As told before, make sure that the file is present in the platform tools folder and you should only sideload the zip file. It does not support sideloading any other file as such. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.